Hi guys, welcome to your 10 minute workout. So I'm filming this during Pride Week 2020 and this is going to be a pride in your body workout. We're going to be focusing on strength and we're going to be sending a lot of gratitude to our body as we do it. It can be as hard or as easy as you want to make it. Um, if you have any weights to hand or some tins or resistance bands, that'd be great, but it's not necessary if you don't have any or if you prefer to keep it a little bit lower. So the way we're going to do it, we've got four rounds, five exercises per round, 30 seconds per exercise and a little 10 second gap in between rounds to reset, recalibrate our body and go again. All right. We're going to do a bit of legs. We're going to do a bit of arms. We're going to do a bit of core. So it's going to be a full body workout. And like I said, we can take it up and down as much as we need to. In round one, I'm going to give you instructions predominantly for the exercises. In round two, we're going to focus on how strong we are in our bodies. Round three, we're going to see if we can pick it up a little bit. And round four, we're going to really cement our mindset when it com comes to our body and how we feel about how strong we are. All right, how does that sound to you? Hopefully good. If you're not already warm, do a warm up. We do have some available on YouTube or do your own. Just three, four minutes is always, always good. Get that body moving. I know it's quite hot right now as I am filming. So have a fan to hand, have some water and just check your area as always. Make sure there's nothing that you're gonna slip over. As always with our smash workouts, you always have the option to change an exercise. So if it's something you're not super familiar with and you're not quite sure if you're doing it right, switch it for something that you do know. You are always welcome to message us and get any clarification on exercises because we'd rather you be safe than have any sort of injury because of our videos. So your exercises for today are gonna to be a squat press, a deadlift row, front to side raises, plank reaches, and lunge rainbows and the lunge rainbows one you can just do lunges so i'll give you lots of alternatives as we go are you ready for this workout we're going to be going in 10 seconds and can you tell i'm excited <laughs> are you ready with them squat presses 30 seconds let's go so get nice and low as if you're about to sit on a chair and the presses, you're going straight above the head. Try not to come out to the sides. <laughs> Push as you stand. So basically the legs are the ones that are driving the arms up. Squeeze the abs and bend the knees. Trying to get right angles. Second move, deadlift row. So we're tilting from the hips, coming down towards the knees, rowing back. Releasing the arms and standing. So if your back is flat, you're squeezing the shoulder blades together, releasing the arms and standing. So push your chest out and push your bum out. You can take the rows out of this or you can just do rows. All right, so core comes into play a lot in this one. All the way down, squeeze, you turn and up. Next one is that combo, a front to side raise. So this one, if you've got a resistance band, you'll just do one arm at a time and one move at a time. So it might be worth just choosing front raises or side raises. If your weights do get a little heavy, you can drop it to single arms. Or like I said, you can just do one out of the two moves. Next one, plank reaches. So onto the floor, we're reaching all the way out and all the way back. Squeeze the abs and try and get that nice side plank position as you reach up. All the way up and all the way back. Squeeze and down. Trying to get the shoulders over the wrists. Then your final one, I'm using one weight for this, is a lunge. Woo! Rainbow. So you step in forward, rainbow over the front leg and stepping back. Ooh. So this one is your pride icon, the rainbow. I wanted to get that in there somewhere. Try and keep your arms straight. And like I said at the beginning, your option is just do the lunges. All right, you got 10 seconds. Then we're gonna go into squat press. 
All right, so now we know the moves, let's see how we feel. So, as you come down, feel the strength in those legs. How strong are your legs today? Feel that bum working, feel the core engaging, and if you are doing the press, feel them shoulders working. Your shoulders are a much smaller muscle than your glutes, so they might burn quicker than the glutes do. Remember the second move? Ooh, deadlift row, all right. So tilt, squeeze, return, and up. So your deadlift, really good for the bum, really good for the hamstrings. Your row is a really important move for the upper body, making a strong back and getting your posture nice and upright. <laughs> so really focus on squeezing the shoulder blades in this one. All right, front to side raises. So if you're keeping the same weight as you did with the rows, this could be a struggle, but we are strong. Both of these moves are hitting the shoulders in a slightly different way. So even if you just did front raises, hitting the front of the shoulders, side raises, hitting the side of the shoulders, you're still getting a bit of a shoulder workout. And shoulders are an area that we don't naturally have to use a lot of in everyday life. Ready for them plank reaches? Right. So, this one is very, very good for your core. Really good for the shoulders, but also working the lower back a little bit. So to keep the plank position, you're having to use the whole of that core. You can do this as speedy or as slowly as you need to, or just hold it. <laughs> Lunge rainbows, this time, whoop, I'm doing it without the weight. So for now, I'm focusing on those strong legs. As you step forward, feel that power come in from those legs. If you are doing the rainbow, you're also engaging a lot of core without realizing it. I always call it secret core. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe and really push back with that front foot. 10 seconds and we're starting again, squat press. Right, I'm gonna make it a little more funky. <laughs> Let's see if we can add a bit of a twist. So come down and press to the side with a little pivot on the foot. Your option is to stay where you were and push straight up. Now all this is doing is engaging that core that little bit more, but it's also working the legs in a slightly different way. Now in one single workout, it's totally fine to stick with one way, but if you're doing this time and time again, mixing it up is a great way to change. So, deadlift, row, down and up. So you can go a little bit lower if your flexibility allows it, but just make sure that that back is as straight as you can get it. So for me, I'm not super duper flexible, but I'll go as far as my body will allow me. With the rows, really keep them elbows tucked in. Oh, plank reaches already. Now front to side raise, sorry. So front and side. This time, I'm doing one of each, and you can, like I said, drop it down. So this is one area that will tire very, very quickly. Be careful and be kind to your body. If you find that you're swinging with it, it means you probably need to drop it down or just take it to single arms. Now is the plank reach, ready. So an alternative to the reaches is shoulder taps. Trying to keep the hips down, but not too far down. Keeping that core nice and strong. Or you can go back to whew, this nice twist. So the slower and the more control you have, the more you're working your core. All right, let's go with them rainbows. I'm gonna use these this time. Whew. Why are you trying to land the plane? <laughs> so again, this one, you can add some speed if you wish, but 
just be very careful. Lunges, you're using each leg individually, which is especially good if you like to run or do any cycling. Oof. And 10 second rest, one more round. Okay, so in this round, do what suits your body, do whatever you need to do for this last time. Maybe it's more speed. So this time, remind yourself just how strong you are. You've been in this body for however long you've been alive and it's gotten you through so much. I know mine has, for sure. So just give yourself a little bit of gratitude right now for everything that's working, which is pretty much your whole body. And if you're like me, you're talking away, so is your mouth. <laughs> All right, deadlift rows. Really good one, especially if you've been sitting down all day for that posture. So, I want you to think about how amazing your body is, your mind especially, if you are having to sit at a desk, and especially if you're during lockdown at the moment, working from home, your home is not necessarily designed to be working from it, as you can see right here. So, how amazing is your body to deal with that? All right, front to side raises. Whew. So focusing on those smaller muscles, reminding yourself that there are a lot of things going on at any one time during your body that you can be grateful for. So that even on the days when you're feeling low with your body positivity, you still have so much that your body is doing for you without even realizing. So think of them small things all right, plank reaches, can you tell I'm delaying? <laughs> All right, that core. Now it's a place where a lot of us hate the most, especially women, is our abs area. But it is incredibly strong. It is the one part of our body that does so much work. So be kind to yourself and how much it can do. We've only got one more move to go. Them lunges, ready, this time I'm gonna go woo, with them heavy weights all the way over, really squeeze the abs and be thankful for those legs yet again. Those arms, shoulders, you're using a little bit of everything right now and you've got this. It's the last few seconds woo, and it's almost over. Five, get that nice twist. Three, two, Amazing. Take it a deep breath. You did so well. So remind yourself of what I've been saying. How strong you are, how strong your body is. It's amazing. There's so many different things you can do. So many different styles of workout. But you've just smashed 10 minutes all in a row. Like I said, if you decide to do this one again, it might be things that you can pick up on. You can make it harder. It might be that you need to take it down and that's also totally fine. Do what you can, listen to your body and be kind to yourself. Now, I want you to say out loud three things that you're thankful for for your body. Have a think about it, have a little stretch, nourish yourself and I'll see you again. Thank you. Thanks for watching our video guys. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope you got something from it as well. You know we are massive advocates of strengthening your mental and physical health and we'll do everything we can to help you do that. You can help us as well by liking, by subscribing, by sharing and if you can, by donating. You'll find all the details below. Have a good day!